Hi, I'm Jonathan Marco from Eurospace, and I'm here to tell you about a project in progress called the Eurocloud for Research. You may know that we run a service now, it's a managed service called Duracloud, and it's geared to um, let you preserve the content in the cloud. Um, this is Duracloud for Research, however, and it's the story begins with a bunch of unhappy researchers. Why are they unhappy? Because they've lost their data. The data's gone forever. Or uh, what's often the case is that you know they've got data stored under the desk, or they've got data stored in an increasingly chaotic uh, fashion. They need to do something about that. And what's driving that even further right now is the uh, the mandates that come from the funding agencies to deliver data management plans if you expect to get research. And I know that's true with uh, many of the UK uh, funding agencies as well. So what we did was apply to the Sloan Foundation for a, uh, a grant, we applied for a grant to extend our DuraCloud application to appeal to the, the needs of researchers. And um, we partnered with the Smithsonian and tell you how we did that, but um, we began our project with a representation of a number of uh, research support folks from many universities throughout the United States. And this is, this is a listing of them. And they, uh, these are folks who are used to supporting researchers, and they told us what the requirements have been to their, uh, their understanding. We came up with these principles, which, is, which are that we are developing an open source um, solution that's capturing the data very close to the source. We're trying not to interfere with the researchers' processes, and we're providing incentives for metadata creation um, so that when eventually this gets passed on to curators, it can be uh, stored beyond the light and made accessible beyond the life of the project. This is a management console that's part of DuraCloud. The DuraCloud for Research Console will look like this and will give you a way to configure your, uh, your system. So in this image, for example, researchers will identify among their operational data directories, whether it's on a laptop or on a, on a server or, or um, whatever, what they want to have backed up immediately to, uh, to the cloud. And this is a drawing of the architecture, which I'll go through in a little more detail, I'll go through each piece. But I'm talking about the process on the left here, where source data is um, synced into DuraCloud, which is, and this part of the drawing is totally in the cloud. So research operational data store, and then cloud. So the first step is that I'm a researcher, and I say, well, I like to back up this directory, which has you know, my spreadsheets, and this one over here, which contains uh, my images, or uh, or whatnot, and that gets backed up into Space A in, in DuraCloud. Um, at that point, it triggers the creation of a Fedora object. So the metadata that we can glean from the, from the uh, data that's uploaded is stored in a Fedora repository. It then gets, the Fedora objects then get synced back to Space B, also in DuraCloud. So we have um, the data there and the and the and the, uh, and the metadata, and then on the right, what we've got is um, a user interface that the research team can use to visualize, manage, and analyze the data. And right now, um, we're as I mentioned earlier, we're partnering with the Smithsonian Institution. Now, these um, these are not the most uh, in focus images, but this is an example of the Smithsonian application. If you're around tomorrow, and I know you'll be around tomorrow, go to see Thorny Staples give um, a, uh, a presentation that will really walk you through the Smithsonian application in a lot more detail. If you can see, it's based on this notion of concepts that are defined by the researcher as he or she uploads his data. He can then look at the data and um, associate the, the object model with the data and define the different pieces of the research um, project, its components, and its uh, resources, and its content 
and relate the different projects to each other and the different resources to the projects, et cetera, et cetera. And what you wind up with is a hierarchical kind of um, image of your research project. You can press a, an exhibit button, and that um, will create a website based on the objects and the metadata that you entered for them. So the incentive is there for the researcher to create some rich metadata because that will more clearly um, illustrate the nature of his project and it's a way for him to communicate what the project is. So this is an example of how you can drill down to the actual content that's stored in the Fedora repositories. And the stuff the member is getting upload, uploaded automatically. So that's it. In, in essence, Stir Cloud for Research is project data safely backed up, metadata captured and enhanced, um, cloud-based services for management and analytics, um, partnership with the data managers and curators who support the researchers, and preservation in the cloud. And um, our, output, our outcome, our, hopefully, will be um, happy researchers. Some of these people are so relaxed they've gone to the beach. Um, but um, if you'd like to find out more about the Cloud for Research, please go to our website. Um, and um, as you can see, it's, a, it's still a um, project in process. It's uh, going through uh, its second iteration at this point. We're adding on additional participants, getting feedback from researchers at a number of different institutions. And by the end of 2012, we hope to be able to show you a real full feature of the program. Thank you very much.